What about the room, Professor? Deke. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, sick first house. There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? See, now she's trying to get information out of me again, and I can't, I can't sell out, like... I think there's a reason why Fig wouldn't say anything, and I think I should follow his lead. I'd wager there's a good deal more. I mean, I have to keep going with it. No, Professor. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Oh, good. Professor Ronan mentioned that. I mean, yeah, he Professor did. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. She In also fact, mentioned it before, too. Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. What now, am I going to do? Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. Outside, maybe I'm going to fly. We've replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Good. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Yeah, well, what can you tell me about, uh, what's a spell craft? I've never heard of a spell craft before, Professor. What is it? A spell craft is a recipe of sorts oh, just a recipe. used when conjuring objects. I shall explain hmm. more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Good. Well, I think at this point I am ready to get to meat. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Huh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not gonna go with Sebastian. I think he would get me in trouble. Let's go I'd with like Natty. Go with she was Natty. nice. Excellent choice. And Miss her mom's Ohio a teacher, one too. Of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? Good. A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. We're cozying up here. All right, new quest, report to Professor Ronan. I swear, I really hope that I didn't even look at that. I probably Revenge. should have, but I didn't. Uh, this cat is judging me heartily. Let's get out of here. Oh, flying page. Accio. Brilliant. Got it. I'll talk to you quickly, Zenobia Noak. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. That doesn't make sense. Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted mm. to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Interesting. Gobstones. Not awful. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. A Amen. So and she's just a competitor. Worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. 
And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Oh, well, they suck. Uh, sounds as if they overreacted. I mean, yeah. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. She knows exactly what to say to make someone feel like, uh... Okay. Oh, I'm gonna help the little girl get her, her gobstones back, because she needs a, a big, strong fifth year. She don't have any friends. She just said she doesn't have any friends because everyone hates her. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If Accio. I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Okay, well, I'll I can't make anything. Can I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. That was sad. So she must be like the Luna Lovegood of the uh, the 1800s, I suppose, of this class. See, the thing is, right, all classes, like, they all have their different types, right? She is that one. You had, uh, what's her name? Uh, I can't remember her name. The, the bespectacled uh, female whose name escapes me, uh, like Cardilla or something like that. Um, she's obviously the Hermione, right? And then you've got another Weasley who is. I'd better keep an eye on high wrong, places like... around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. So wait, now I want to find her gobstones. Why am I? Oh, he. Okay. I'm practicing stuff now. Oop, gobstone. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Use. What do we do here? Ah, we can make the mermaids just uh, do their thing. And you've got, is that a werewolf and a... A werewolf and a unicorn fighting on a thing being held up by trolls. I think those are trolls, maybe. Um, that are being swam by mermaids. Wild. Okay. Like, you, you have to assume that they're up in the top bit here. She, well, she also said that they put them up in high places. I'd better keep an eye on high places around I the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I got gobstones in high places where the bullies do whatever they do or something. I don't know. Gobstone! Give it to me. Got it. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Uh, Hello, yeah, Zenobia. I, did. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common yeah, sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Okay. No, I think I'll keep them. What kind of guy would I be if I said, yeah, I'll help you find your gobstones, and then I go and I find them and I just keep them for myself? I'm not that kind of guy. Okay. Uh, but yeah, of give course. them back. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking oh. of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I mean, I think that's a wonderful idea. I'm sure they'd be willing oh. to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Good luck. Okay. All right, Professor. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. All right. Remember, Bigger. your wand is a conduit of your magic. Uh 
Ah, make it! You can do it, Reparo. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Reparo. Perhaps a cheeky lover thought it too accurate and flashed out. Quest completed. Oh, oh, she's so sad. Oh, how terrible. Okay. Um. He's just, he's just having a good old time. Okay. Let's, wait, there's a, there's a thing. There's a, do I, can I go in here? Oh, look at me hiding. I f see, the thing is, right, if, imagine if this had, oh. Wait, does this, this doesn't have multiplayer, right? If it did, could you imagine playing hide and seek here? This would be my first spot. Boom. Oh, we're going to Hogsmeade. We're going to Hogsmeade. We're at an entrance. Level one unlocked. I can't even. Rebellion. Okay. Oh, wait. Another one. Rebellion. Do it right here. Broken broom. This broken broom belonged to Celine Wart Nobby and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's funny. She could be on the moon, but no one knows really. Hello, right. looking for me? Uh, yeah. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Good old Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade. We're going to get the Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade is where we're... I don't even... Some song. I gotta come up with a Hogsmeade song. Oh, we're out. We're outside. Now, it's kind of weird. Sometimes I feel like I've I had the same look on my face as, uh, accompany you. Really? as this dude here. Yes, my guy. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought oh. you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Whoa, we're outside. We are out and about. Sorry, I'm coming. <sighs> I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient Wait. rooms. Now, are Green we Revelli to take it as an elective class? Believe me. Are we I running to Hogsmeade? Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Mm. Yeah, we're Hogsmeade running to Hogsmeade. It's beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh. I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Fair enough. You don't grow up with something, it's hard to just kind of pop oh, in and wait, be used to over it. Here. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Hmm. I will collect them. I'm gonna collect anything that could potentially be useful. Look, from the forbidden forest. Once more. Hippogriffs. Hippogriffs. Where? Oh. I wow. That hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Look at them. What majestic beasts! Look at them. Look at them.
he's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Likely already named them. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, well, there's agree with that. over the crest. Pass that ruin. This is look at it. Just give that a gander. Give it a quick gander. You get your hills. You've got the forest. Just all of it is so. Hmm. Ah, the countryside. I would spend all of my time. There's nothing like it. I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that. Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. She just admitted to breaking the rules. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so... Lake. New and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? Where's that? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. I mean, yeah, I hope so. Cat, pet. Yellow eyes. What are they doing? They're just sitting here, just snacking. Not even talking. First date, probably, you know? Super awkward, don't know what to say. He's gonna eat popcorn. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks Mr. a bit for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What? What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Run! Oh, Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a space. Oh, I can just shoot those. And I get moonstones. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. All right. Hogs meat. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogs meat. There is so much here. Look at this. Look at it. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Oh, good. And then I am a... Oh. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, hello, sir. 
I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... Uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Olivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Olivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's in a the pleasure world. to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Oh, doesn't hmm. look like it. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's not it. Well, this isn't a good match at all, not is it? not it at all. <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Now, I wonder if it's going to give me the one that I got in the on the test as well. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, goodness. Um, is it? I don't know if this is good or bad. Looks like it's back to the shelf for yeah, you. Yeah, okay, that was bad. That was... <laughs> this is proving to be trickier oh, than I had good. anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. He keeps pulling out the green ones. Like, everyone he's given me is in a yes. green case. And there's so many things other than green. Here. Take it. So I'm I'm getting a special one. He's not even gonna tell me what it is. It's not what very fancy, is it? Very modest. Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> I love how all I have to do. Now, how did that feel? Is just light it up, and he's like, "Oh yes." A sort of surge of some kind. Okay, a well, no, match. Okay. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the well, bond between you are. and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds if... wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. 